Hey you, yes you, welcome. Welcome to this course I created. This course is based upon the 13 goals for a witch that you can see on the screen. Know yourself, know your craft, learn and grow, apply knowledge with wisdom, achieve balance, keep your words in good order, keep your thoughts in good order, celebrate life, attune with the cycles of earth, breathe and eat correctly, exercise the body, meditate and honor the goddess and god. Each time we meet, we will work on one of these 13 goals. Today, we delve into the first goal, know yourself. The dictionary definition states that to know oneself is to understand oneself fully, or to understand one's own emotions, desires, abilities, and so forth. But that's a little basic. There's more to the story than that. Lao Tzu is quoted as saying, he who knows others is wise, he who knows himself is enlightened. Lao Tzu lived around 500 BCE. He was a Chinese philosopher credited with founding the philosophical system of Taoism. He tried to teach people how to live in the way of the Tao, the creative and binding force which runs through the universe. The premise is that people could live happier, more fulfilling lives by aligning themselves with the natural flow of the Tao instead of placing themselves in opposition to it. To thine own self be true. It's a line from Act 1, Scene 3 of Shakespeare's play Hamlet. It is spoken by King Claudius's chief minister, Polonius, as part of a speech where he is giving his son, Laertes, his blessing and advice on how to behave whilst at university. It's also the first of four sayings from Alcoholics Anonymous, as part of the Twelve Steps and the tradition of openness and honesty. Nobody is perfect, and the first step towards self-improvement is being aware of your shortcomings. What makes you the same and yet different from the other seven billion or so humans on this planet? In a few minutes, we'll perform an assignment to reveal that about ourselves. But this assignment and its revelations, mind you, is but a snapshot of who you are right now. And this snapshot is just that, a picture taken today of who you are today. And who you are, just like your life, is a journey, not a destination. And you are constantly evolving. That's the beauty of it all. We can and do evolve into better versions of ourselves. It's important to know ourselves so that we can know our place in humanity, in the world, our earth, in our solar system, and in our universe. Knowing our place in humanity and why we are here is truly liberating. It enables us to view everything as a gift. Indeed, you have power over your life. Your life is what you make it. And more importantly, success is how you define it. It is truly so. Happiness is an inside job. Now please, pause the video and grab a writing utensil or something to write on. We are going to perform our first assignment of the course. It is called See yourself objectively. Take your sheet of paper and draw six large bubbles. In the first bubble, list at least five weaknesses you think you have, five traits that you believe are flaws. Please pause the video till you're done. In the second bubble, List at least five fears that you have. Things that scare you, intimidate you, or make you uncomfortable. Please pause the video till you're done. 
in the third bubble, list at least five strengths you possess, five traits that you believe you are good at, five qualities that make you awesome. Please pause the video till you're done. In the fourth bubble now, list at least five of your passions, things you love to do, things that bring you joy. Please pause the video till you're done. In the fifth bubble now, please list at least five beliefs. These are issues or items that you hold on to and swear upon. Things you personally hold to be true. Pause the video while you write. Finally, in the sixth bubble, list at least five goals you have for yourself. They could be long-term goals or short-term ones as you wish. Please pause the video while you write. Once you know yourself, and I hope this assignment helped, you will have a better understanding of who you want to be. The law of attraction is a philosophy suggesting that positive thoughts bring positive results into a person's life while negative thoughts bring negative outcomes. It is based on the belief that thoughts are a form of energy and that positive energy attracts success in all areas of life, including health, finances, and relationships. Rhonda Byrne wrote a series of books on the topic. You may be familiar with The Secret. Here are some reading suggestions. I encourage you to continue working on your six bubbles until we meet again. Thank you all and be well. And here's my contact info if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, or compliments.